Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Spirited Away Itsumo Nando Demo It's also called Always With Me It's a very nice theme, it goes like this, give you a preview, check it out Theme. Let's go ahead and break it up into parts to learn it so it's easier. We're gonna learn it as melody chords first. From uh, that, after at the end, I'll teach you the pattern. It's really easy the pattern anyway for the left hand. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and break it up into about four parts. Okay, so the first part goes like this: right starts on the E here, middle C here for reference, chord, but an octave C, E right here. Goes E, F sharp, G sharp, E up to B, down to G sharp, F sharp, back up to B down to F sharp, and then E down to C sharp, up to G sharp, down to E, D sharp. That's it for the right hand for this first part. One more time, it goes like this. E, F sharp, G sharp, E up to B, down to G sharp, F sharp, up to B, down to F sharp, E, C sharp, up to G sharp, down to E, D sharp. That's it for the right hand. Okay, once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have four chords. The four chords are, okay, E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Second chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Third chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. And then the fourth chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so E major, B major, C sharp minor, and G sharp minor. Two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the two notes. G sharp and E major together. F sharp and B major together. E and C sharp minor together. D sharp and G sharp minor together. Like that. One more time, it goes like this. Together. 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 Okay, moving on to the second part, Ryan continues, it goes D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, B, up to E, F sharp, G sharp, A, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. That's it for the right hand for the second part. One more time, it goes D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, B, up to E, F sharp, G sharp, A, a, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords. The four chords are A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Second chord is E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Third chord is F sharp minor, which is F sharp, A, and C sharp. And then the fourth chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. So with these four chords in mind, so A major, E major, F sharp minor, and B major, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts. C sharp, A major to go. B and E major to go. A and F sharp minor to go. F sharp and B major to go. Like that. One more time, it goes like this. To go. To go. To go. There you have it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts of blood so far will be played like this. Check it out. to the third part. The third part shares similarities with the first part. The chords are the same for the left hand, the right hand is slightly different, okay? It goes E, F sharp, G sharp, E up to B, that's the same, and then G sharp, F sharp, B, F sharp, that's the same as well, but now I change it a little bit. It goes E, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, B. Okay, you can see the second half is a tiny bit different for this third part. Okay, one more time, so Ryan goes E, F sharp, G sharp, E, B, G sharp, F sharp, up to B, down to F sharp, E, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, B. That's it for the right hand for this third part. Once you get that left hand, as I said before, same four chords as the first part. So that's E major, E, G sharp, B. Second chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Third chord, C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. And the fourth chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. 
All right, so with these four chords in mind, so E major, B major, C sharp minor, G sharp minor, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, G sharp, E major together, F sharp and B major together, E and C sharp minor together, B and G sharp minor together, like that. One more time, it goes together, So that's the third part. Back to back, all three parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Moving on to the fourth and last part, Ryan continues goes B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, B. Up to E, F sharp, G sharp, A, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, E. That's it for the right hand, okay? One more time, it goes B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, B. Up to E, F sharp, G sharp, A, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, E. That's it for the right hand, okay? Once you get the right hand there. Left hand, we have five chords here. The five chords are A major, A, C sharp, E. Second chord, E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Third chord F sharp minor, which is F sharp A C sharp, and then the fourth chord B major, which is B D sharp F sharp, and fifth chord E major, which is E G sharp B. Okay, so with these five chords in mind, G sharp, uh, well, no, not G sharp, sorry. The five chords are A major, E major, F sharp minor, B major, and E major. Okay, remember that. Okay, so with those five chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this: right hand starts on the B, C sharp, and A major together. B and E major together. A and F sharp minor together, F sharp and B major together, second E and E major together, like that. One more time, it goes together, 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 together. Okay, and that's it for the last part here. So back to back, all four parts will be played like this. Very nice. sound pretty nice with these melody and block chords already however if you want to play like uh, the kind of accompaniment pattern like what I did in the preview you can I'll teach you now so the main thing is uh, this song is in like triple time it's always in one two three one two three and that's the same for the accompaniment as well for the chords what you want to do is play the root note on the chord followed by the higher two notes for two times it's like one Like that, and you just apply it to the two hands, it goes like this. as like a passing chord so just play it as just individual chords there okay but yeah that's pretty much it very beautiful theme hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally i have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel but anyway that's pretty much it also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano for me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music and a lot of other cool stuff so make sure to check that out as well as for now that's pretty much it enjoy time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear grab the free preview of my book or just visit my website bestpianomethod.com for all my other piano mastery courses sheet music song requests and services all the links are in the description below see you next time